PTZ cameras are becoming a game changer in the audiovisual production world. From live events to houses of worship, corporate meetings, and even film production, these cameras allow for dynamic shots without the need for multiple camera operators. What's even better? Going wireless. Traditionally, productions required miles of cables, adding to cost and complexity. But with a wireless PTZ setup, you get flexibility, a clean setup, and reduce labor costs all without sacrificing quality. In this video, we'll walk you through setting up a wireless PTZ camera system step-by-step step so you can save money, reduce setup time, and increase efficiency in your production. 1. Equipment Overview Before we begin, let's check the equipment you'll need for this setup. Here's the list. Trendnet Gigabit PoE++ Injector GLNet GLAXT1800 Slate Axe Portable Gigabit Travel Router Netgear 8 port PoE Gigabit Ethernet Switch Wireless HDMI Transmitter and Receiver CAT7 Ethernet Cable Optional, Portable Power Station for Extended Use 2. Basic Camera Setup Start by placing your PTZ camera on a tripod. Connect its network port via an Ethernet cable to the PoE slot of the Trenet Gigabit PoE++ injector. Now, mount one of the GLNet routers and connect its LAN port to the PoE injector's data port. Next, connect the PTZ camera's HDMI output to the wireless HDMI transmitter and link the receiver to your switcher or monitor. Finally, power up all devices using a portable power station for extended wireless operation. 3. Network Setup Let's connect the network. Plug the PoE PTZ controller into the Netgear 8 port PoE, Gigabit Ethernet switch, and then connect both GL and Net routers to the switch using LAN ports. 4. Configuring communication between routers To set up communication between two GL and Net routers, connect a laptop to the network and open a web browser. Visit 192.168. 8.1 and create a login. Go to the Network tab and choose LAN to change the IP address. Then choose Modify option in the Wireless section settings to set a unique network name and security login. Repeat these steps for the second router. Then go to router number 1 and enable WDS mode. Go to the Network tab on the browser interface and choose Network mode. The router will search for a network to join. Select router number 2's network to join the two routers together for seamless communication. Five. Final checks and testing. Once the routers are connected, unplug the second router from the PoE switch. It should now be fully wireless. Now, test your setup by controlling the PTZ camera remotely and checking the video feed. And that's it! Your wireless PTZ camera system is now ready to use. No more running miles of cables. No more high labor costs. Just a clean, professional, and efficient setup. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop any questions in the comments below. Happy streaming!